Hi guys, we are at the Flamingo Buffet. This is the highlight of the Flamingo Buffet. It's the beautiful Flamingo Habitat view. Of course, this particular section, the one that you're seeing with the words reserved on the table, it's actually reserved for diamond and platinum players, total rewards players. But you might be able to get to sit just a couple of rows behind and still enjoy the view. Now, I'm going to teach you a little trick to determine whether it's a, whether a buffet you're going to get into is a good buffet or not. I'll write about it on top-buffet.com, of course, but I'm going to say it to you on this video. So watch this space. Hi guys, this is um, again the lunch buffet at uh, Flamingo, Flamingo Paradise Garden Buffet, and I'm going to be very brief. And I'm gonna give you a summary here and then I'm gonna just go through the little pieces the little sections it's a very very small buffet and for lunch they have a couple of sections that are practically closed you can't even have pizza the, the dessert section is average and by that I mean what they serve you can find pretty much at you know, supermarkets with the exception perhaps of this cheesecake no absolute no absolutely no labeling whatsoever I mean no sugar added that's the label but you have no idea what you're eating so this one looks like the shoe the the cheesecake that they serve at Bacchanal which was delicious at Bacchanal it's just average here um, chocolate sauce ice cream cones this self-serve ice cream section and these pretty much run-of-the-mill desserts and there is no labeling some of these some of these you will find at the uh, at the Rio buffet they have many more desserts at the Rio buffet by the way and this is the sad part in that this is the made-to-order crepe section which I think it's the forte of the dessert section of Flamingo but it's closed and it's closed for lunch so that's gonna leave you wondering what else you can eat although you don't need to stuff yourself with desserts so people love to do that and if you do you want to have great desserts these are really nothing special here as you can see no labeling it's just what you find it's in my opinion it's the level that you can find at some some um, supermarkets in my opinion and continuing to say that in my opinion uh, oh by the way this this would be very nice this 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 chocolate here would be very nice on top of your crepe if the crepe section were open fruit if if my opinion in my opinion as I was saying this is not a buffet worth coming to unless you have a free offer a completely free entry don't even bother with the five dollar off coupons that we talk about because in my opinion this buffet is awful um, as you can see like a telltale sign people don't see, seem very uh, subdued the atmosphere here is very subdued and if you go to a really good buffet it's excited uh, everybody's excited and they're chatting and they're speaking loudly and here everybody's like it's like awake I find you know I have been at wakes that were more lively than this you've got a really basic uh, they have a lot of things but in terms of taste it's it's, it's really basic uh, Mexican section here you can at good buffets you know you can stuff yourself with these chips because they're delicious and they're made there this is not one of them and then uh, before you have to have lots of these gel type dish I mean is this something that you really should serve in a buffet maybe for kids there aren't any kids here I mean probably a handful um, and then this other pre-made in my opinion uh, food the label is pretty bad in fact there is none but you can pretty much guess what it is flavor wise it's just not there so you really have to guess and the forte forte station of this buffet is the made to order quesadilla and the made to order quesadilla gets a little bit better for dinner but really um, and of course the, it's mixed in with the rotisserie section it's so a little bit of meat section a bit a little bit of made to order quesadilla I'll show you here and again it wasn't very good it was bad in my opinion of course then the salad section 
again oh, it's 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 uh, it's what you find at budget buffets but this is not a budget buffet this is my problem with this buffet if it were $4.99 $5.99 like some buffets are and you can check top-buffet.com to find out what those are top-buffet.com you can eat at lunch for $5.99 more or less you know one dollar more one dollar less and it's like this so slightly better so why do you have to pay $15 this is $15 per person including the five dollars off dollars off coupon that we used it's not worth it in my opinion clam chowder in my opinion it was awful it tasted like a lot of um, cornstarch just cornstarch chowder and uh, there was no taste whatsoever it was lumpy I'll see if I can show you I'll show you on the other side there's not much left here but when you've got very little to do and it's a very to eat it's a very very small buffet as well so when you've got very little to eat you end up eating anything I did I had it now the only thing that I actually quite liked here at this buffet were the sushi offerings here the sushi there are a couple of sushi types and if I grab a plate I'll show you follow me these ones here are good and really that's it I'm afraid but you're just gonna have to eat those because there's nothing else that tastes decent in my opinion so that's it I mean that's the only palatable thing that I found it's really sad I think that you know when I review things I, I always bear in mind the price if this were $5.99 I would say guys what you can, what can you get what do you expect but it isn't, you know, it's around $20 and as I say, $15 with the $5 coupons, $5 off coupon. And it ain't, it's not worth it in my opinion. Now this is um, Chinese Asian section. I'll pause it and see if I can show you the details. I'm not really sure what this fish is in the left. What I don't like at buffets, and I find it in, in the certain types of buffets, it's just watery. I don't like watery dishes, you know. Some of them are even worse than this. It's not how it should be presented, in my opinion. And it doesn't taste very good either. It tastes like overcooked and super bland. So there you go, and I give you a glimpse of the little rotisserie over there. It's a little section, a little meat section there, but people are lining up because there's nothing else. Um, so I'm going to show you the uh, tiny um, crab leg and seafood section. The crab legs, you have to open them yourself. That's fine, I'm not fussed about those things. But it's really, really small. And that's it. And here you toast your bread, which is uh, something that comes from breakfast. They still have it. And uh, I think I showed you everything, but I'm gonna go through this side. I'm gonna go and show you this side of the salad section. And look, you know, the, this, the, the sushi section gets not re get re does not get replenished fast enough. It's the only semi-decent section, in my opinion. And um, it's just not very filled fast enough and then one thing that I don't really like it's just that the food comes into these big plastic buckets and it's just this kind of um, it, 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 it's the icing on the cake so to speak you know? it explains a lot and you have all these cold offerings here in the salad section a lot of here there was a, oh yeah there was a pasta salad here cold pasta salad and this is some sort of seafood swimming in water I know some of you guys will think I'm fussy but I am fussy when you pay $20 I mean if you have to pay $20 I wouldn't come here even with the $5 off coupon I repeat myself to death I know I'm sorry about that now it seems like they actually changed 
Uh, the other side uh, of, of the soup section, they still have clam chowder, but this side they have pea soup, pea soup, which to me looks like pre-made, you know, when you buy the pre-made. And I'm not too keen on it by the look of it, but I will try it and I will tell you what it was like on top-buffet.com and um, and that's it so this is the flamingo paradise so-called paradise garden buffet I want to be excited and I want to be funny but I'm thinking like this is what I do it does, I don't mind if I pay say the, today I paid $15 because I had the $5 off coupon I don't mind because it's what I have to do and what I do and I love doing what I do but I do mind um, when I think that some of you might actually pay $20 for this place even if you pay 15 is too much so in my opinion you should go and check out alternatives to this buffet there are many decent resorts offering very affordable buffets better than this one and they offer free shuttles and I can tell you all about it uh, we just opened a section on top-buffet.com talking about free shuttles and I strongly recommend you check it out if you have time and if you actually want to eat something a little better for cheaper if you don't have time then I understand but then you might as well want to you might, to, might as well pay a little bit more and then say go to the Mirage Buffet for example uh, you know which is close enough and if you really want to spend a lot more of course you go to Bacanal or Bellagio you know Bellagio is still relatively affordable so check it out do your research in my opinion if you care about what you eat if you don't care about what you eat because you just have five minutes and you want to fill up your stomach then sure come here and the only good thing that I really like about this buffet it's of course the uh, view of the beautiful flamingo habitat uh, you get to see the flamingos, you get to see the, the ducks, it's really pretty. But in my opinion, it is not worth coming to eat here unless it's, you get a free, totally free admission. See you on Top Dash Buffet, guys. Bye-bye.